Go tell that long tongue liar. Go and tell that midnight rider. Tell the rambler, the gambler. Hey guys, welcome back to Studio Two. And uh, I, this is a different kind of video I wanted to do today. I just got done working out. The whole time I was training, I was just steaming about an experience that uh, Dr. Tiff and I had last week. Uh, we found out that one of our clients who had trained with us, who had spent a total of six weeks with us, uh, has decided to basically plagiarize elements of our nutrition program and start their own business. And, um, you know, I, I, will go, I will come out and, and say right away that um, we get it, man. I know why people would want to do that because, you know, our shit works. Um, in, a, in a fitness and nutrition market of crap, and and gimmicks and everybody's guessing and getting you know results for a couple of weeks and then they're back to the drawing board and they're bigger and fatter than they were before I get it I get why you would want to steal from us but you know there's a couple of problems with it um, number one is it took Dr. Tiff and I years to get to where we are with what we do right now and even though we release a lot of information about the broad strokes of what we do. There's a lot of things that are happening on the back end that, that we don't release. There's an individual prescription that we have for every person. Nobody is the same. And um, we've, we've come about that knowledge um, through a lot of experience and also research and development. Now, I, I want to say also that you know, we really offer credit where credit is due. There is nothing new under the sun, and that is true with us as well. I will tell you clearly that everything that I do has come about from amazing teachers. And I just happen to have a very broad background in a lot of different things that, that has brought me personally to where I am right now as a, as a coach. And I came up in, in martial arts, um, I studied with an amazing karate instructor named Danny Lane in Huntington, West Virginia. And um, after that I started powerlifting and I found an incredible coach. His name was Dave Jeffrey. And Dave taught me so much about uh, weight training at such a young age. I still uh, use so much of what uh, Dave gave me. And Dave was an early father of the USPF. Uh, and because of that I also became uh, involved with uh, Louis Simmons. So Louis Simmons still to this day. I read everything he puts out. I think he's one of the greatest coaches in, in the world uh, in weight training. Um, Mark Gerstegen, um, I've commented on before, Char Charlie Weingriff, uh, Dave Gray. There's, there's some amazing people that I watch every single video that they do and I read everything that they put out and I openly will, will say, you know, this is something uh, that, that I've gotten from so-and-so. I quote uh, Kelly Sturette quite a bit, talking about organization. Um, and how we should be thinking about aligning our bodies before we begin to move. He's brilliant. Um, and I give the credit where the credit is due. We spent um, quite a bit of time with Dr. Joe uh, Klimchev Klimchevsky, um, who's a PhD in nutrition, to help us better understand um, what we do on our nutrition system as far as setting macros. Dr. Joe is brilliant. And um, I think Tiffany's done several videos uh, quoting stuff from, from Dr. Joe. Uh, you know, I, I studied martial arts after I got uh, out of the army with uh, Mitsugi Satome Sensei and uh, Hiroshi Ikeda. I spent 12 years going from dojo to dojo, living a life of poverty um, to try to help deepen my understanding of martial arts. And I had amazing teachers that I, I, I credit everything I have back to them. I uh, studied Sistema with Kevin Sikors and Sonny Pazukas, and I, I, I credit them and talk about them quite a bit. I've shot with Paul Howe, Chris Costa, the guys down at Tactical Response. Um, you know, I, I don't try to, I never, never want to elude that I somehow have, have amassed all my knowledge uh, spontaneously. It just came out of my ass one day. I have spent my lifetime in hundreds of thousands of dollars to attain my knowledge. Dr. Tiff has a real PhD that, you know, costs hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know. Uh, she's got a massive education. So we have spent a lot of time, a lot of money, 
uh, and done massive amount of research on our own, on our own dime, with well over 1,500 clients at this point to get where we are, folks. So long story short, if you like what we do, I get it. I get it, man. Shit works. You want it. But here's what I would ask of you. Please, just, just give credit where credit is due. Give credit where credit is due. Don't, don't create a situation um, where you're trying to do something that you don't understand and, and at the same time you lose the respect that maybe you could get one day if you just openly would say that this is where I, I have achieved or gotten this knowledge from. There's absolutely nothing wrong with just being humble about it. Uh, I think we live in a world these days where, you know, the Chinese actively just rob us of our intellectual property and act like, you know, it's just part of the, part of the game and it's okay. Well, I'm going to tell you folks, it's, it's really not okay. And we are all about sharing our knowledge. We put out tons of information on, on YouTube, but please understand folks, we put out probably just enough to get you going and get you fired up about a different possibility of nutrition and fitness, but my, by no means are our YouTube uh, videos or even programs that we put together for you while you're training meant to teach you how to actually apply it to another human being. That takes years of experience and knowledge and you're messing with something that really potentially could hurt somebody. So um, that's my ethics lesson for the day and thanks for listening to my rant. Go and tell that midnight rider, tell the rambler, the gambler, the backbiter, tell him that God's gonna cut him down, tell him that God's gonna cut him down. You can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time, sooner or later gotta cut you down, sooner or later gotta cut you down.